So about what day this weekend do you think is going to be the best to be outside and get things done? I'd say a lot of ways Sunday afternoon may be the, the best day as far as being warmer, uh, maybe a little bit more clearing here and there, but it's not going to be a bad day tomorrow either. It's just, you know, pretty good weekend out ahead of us. We're looking at scattered clouds that will not fully clear out tonight, but at least partially clearing. We've seen some of those breaks in the clouds over Junction City, but again, just not fully clearing out. Currently in West Topeka, there's some breaks more visible to the south and southwest, a little bit more cloud covered directly overhead in Topeka, where our current temperature sits at 64. Actually, it was up to 66. Had a few breaks in the clouds this afternoon. We warmed up a few degrees and have cooled back down just a little bit. Picked up two hundredths of an inch of rainfall out of that early day shower. But as we now look into the early part of the evening, we've got lots of middle 60s. 67 at Linden, 66 in Manhattan, Emporia right at 65, and a light east wind at about 5 to as strong as 13 miles per hour. Those breezes, Comfortable out there, a little cool, uh, but certainly not cold. Just a, a little bit of a cool uh, factor to the air with that well, mid 60s and without the clouds or without the sunshine, those clouds kind of uh, adding maybe a, a little bit more of a cool feel, blocking out some of the warmth of the sun because of that. But there are some holes in the clouds here and there. And as we head through the weekend, we'll actually see quite a few breaks here and there, not entirely clearing them. We are tracking the system for early next week. That's off to the west. It'll take a route over the southern Rockies and then start to really increase storm chances as we head into next week as it finally arrives. A look at KSNT Future Track shows a dry start to the day tomorrow. Actually partly cloudy. It shouldn't be too bad of a first half of Saturday. We'll have to watch and keep an, an eye on tracking a couple of showers that may develop over the western counties and move through. It shouldn't be much out of that. Just a few passing showers and then scattered clouds as we head through the daytime on Saturday. Now Sunday, Again, scattered clouds will be hanging around the area. This is a look from 530 Sunday. Sunday night into Monday, we start to increase chances for scattered showers and storms, and that'll carry over through the daytime on Monday. Rounds of scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible, but also getting more humid during that time period. This will look at future track humidity. Not too bad Saturday night into Sunday morning, but as we head through the day Sunday, here comes that higher humidity. Notice the green shading coming in. That'll be in place Sunday Monday on into most of next week. Tonight down to 53 degrees with some passing clouds. A look at your weekend forecast. We've got temperatures in the mid 70s tomorrow, low 80s on Sunday, maybe a few showers mainly west and southwest for Saturday as we'll be tracking Saturday afternoon and then more humid by Sunday and that humidity carries over. We actually warm up even more into the middle 80s much of next week. Showers and storms likely on Monday that'll hold temperatures in the 70s and then once we get more into a scattered pattern of thunderstorms we'll see warmer temperatures and of all the days next week the driest looking one at this point appears to be Wednesday uh, but again the overall trend is going to be for scattering of showers and thunderstorms and with that higher humidity and warmth in place certainly has to be monitored next week for the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms, uh, something we well, would kind of expect. It mm -hmm. is getting into late May already, so kind of our time of the year that we usually look for that. But what I like about it, it might be stormy, but the weather is still going to be hot. So. It's actually to almost start to take on a bit of a feel of summer, I think, by uh -huh. next week. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>